The title of this video is Move to Zero. You have to understand how the mind works. The mind loves to generate imaginary scenarios. These are illusions called problems, and it's going to continue to do it unless you take control of it. And it's going to supply you with an infinite amount of excuses why this is going to take you down and make you miserable and ruin your life. And it's going to confirm it and validate it with your feelings and emotions. And it's going to refer to your past identity, which is, of course, your knowledge database. That is the information center that they implanted in your subconscious mind to just you know, verify that what we're seeing is true. So let's just keep, you know, sending out panic and fear and that's going to get the job done because if it didn't work before, it'll definitely work now. So that's exactly how the mind is triggered. So you have to move to zero, man. That means it doesn't mean start over. It means just reset the, 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 the settings of the mind away from that system and put it towards your higher self because the mind is always going to be triggered like this because it does, you have to understand something. The reason why your mind is the way it is is because it doesn't know any other way. It doesn't know better. It hasn't been shown. It hasn't been taught or told. Your mind has been conditioned to only receive information that comes from these sources and nothing else. That's why you don't believe in Sasquatch or extraterrestrials or you think that it's just human beings on this planet in the infinite, never-ending, limitless, vast, expansive wonder of the universe that goes on forever in every direction it's just you your cell phones and your house and your your job and that's it and that's what that's the way they want you to believe i mean come on man seriously dude you you, you gotta just wrap your head around this stuff that's why people don't believe anything even if a flying saucer landed on your front lawn and the occupants got out you still wouldn't believe it You'd come up with a million reasons why this isn't happening. I must be illusion. This must be a reflection of Venus. You know, it must be swamp gas or a weather balloon. You know, because the news isn't say it's real. So therefore it isn't real because I only listen to the government what they tell me. I can't think for myself. That's really what's going on. That's what the mind does. The mind can't think for itself in that situation. But it can if you plug it into your higher self. That's what the universe wants you to do. That's where you're going to get all of these beautiful experiences that are telling you the truth. How cosmic you are and how limitless and how incredible you are. How beautiful and wonderful you are because you are. But you plug into that stuff, it's going to be like you're a nobody, you're a loser. Unless you're a trillionaire, you're a bum, you're a zero. You know, that's what you're going to get. You know, you have to compete with everybody in the world and compare yourself to others. You're not beautiful enough. You're not tall enough. You're not smart enough. You're not rich enough. You're not fast enough. You're not good enough. That's what you're going to get when you're plugged into there. Oh, you're getting older, you got to get rid of those wrinkles and gray hair. You have to have surgery, plastic surgery, you have to color your hair. That's what you're going to get. It's just an existence of falsehood. That's what the brain does. It just generates these imaginary scenarios, these, these illusionary situations. And it's just crazy, you know? You know, the worst case scenario, that's exactly why you're trained because your, your default setting is, is negatively inclined. You are inclined to lean towards a negative always by default. This is habitual and it's unconscious. Whenever something goes down, you're oh, this isn't going to work out. It's, it's going to be bad for me. I, I can't see me coming out of this ahead. I, I, I just can't see it. I can't see it. It's not going to happen. It's not possible. This is impossible. You know, I, I just don't see it. You know, drilling yourself down into a hole. And yes, I find myself doing it too. So don't think I'm exempt from this stuff because I'm... I walk the walk and talk the talk, brothers and sisters. I ain't telling you, like, do this because I'm perfect. Follow me. I ain't, that, ain't, that ain't this channel. That is not this channel. If you're looking for some delusional garbage, some self-help stuff, you're in the wrong channel. I'm not that. I'm not going to tell you how, you know, you're perfect and everything. Nobody's perfect. Absolutely not. We're all imperfect. We are beautifully imperfect. That's exactly how God made us. So just to know, don't let your mind get set off in that drift. It's going to go nuts on you. You're going to, you're going, it's going to take you along for that crazy ride, man. It's like a roller coaster, and you're going to go off the rails. It's a crazy train, you know? And it's going to take you there if you allow it. It's going to start conjuring up all these imaginary scenarios and situations. It's going to, you know, then it anticipates the worst. It expects the worst. It presumes the worst. It assumes the worst. 
And that's exactly what's going to happen because you're sending out projections that are answered by the universe and you are delivered in the form of experiences that match the dominant vibrational frequency of those transmissions and round and round we go. And the, and the mind is like, we love this because this is the vibrational environment we can operate in. Craziness and chaos and insanity because this is all we know. Don't forget, if a baby is born into a crazy family that's toxic and dysfunctional, and they've never been shown anything else, and they've never been taught or told anything else, and they've never been shown love, they've only been taught how to survive, what do you think is going to come of that child when they get older, and they have nothing to contrast their experiences against as a point of reference? Think about it. If you're in a cult from birth, which you are, and they're conditioning you to be a slave to only recognize their system and only validate their experiences that they're generating that are illusionary and holographic, what do you think that is going to be as far as you are concerned? What type, what type of person you think you're going to become if you've been indoctrinated into this stuff unconsciously and conditioned your whole life to believe a certain way, to think a certain way, to see a certain way, to act a certain way, to behave in a certain way? You're going to be a conformist, an unconscious conformist not realizing it. And that's what your mind has been put through. You can't be hard on the mind. It's not the mind's fault and it's not your fault. But now that you know better, do better, you know, do better. Don't fall into the alignment of that propaganda, that, that agenda, that, that, that social narrative, that programming that causes you to always follow obedient patterns. Do what you're told, do what you're told. Listen to us. We're the authority. Do what you're told. And the mind is like, okay, 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 okay. We won't question. We won't ask. We won't defy. You know, we won't be subversive. You know, we won't be militant. We will be submissive. We will, we will obey. We will follow. That's what the mind is saying because that's all it knows. It hasn't been shown another way for a reason because they don't want you to realize your unlimited transformative potential. As I said before, it all falls in lockstep with their agenda to take over the world and have everybody just be like a blinded, you know, robot. A slave to the system you know that's that's basically it so problems are illusions and that's what the mind generates constantly because that is the only default setting it has so it's up to you to take out that egocentric default setting and just incinerate it and plug it into your higher self because there shouldn't be a default setting for anything you should just enjoy life have impromptu conversations make things up as you go along be avant-garde you know, be an improv, be an emotional improvisationalist, just sponta spontaneity, man. Allow things to be serendipitous. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. This way you're not rigid in your thinking or your, or you, I have to plan this out every single, every single step of my life. I have to plan it out to the finest detail. That's not living. That's regimented. That's like military training camp. That's hardcore military. That's not a life. That's an existence. But anyway, don't be hard on the mind because it doesn't know any better, but it's up to you to teach it. And these videos hopefully help you to do that. So anyway, God bless and have a wonderful day.